Mm. Yep. It's another episode of the trends on addiction. It's me again, Chrissy Donald. And you know how we do. Charlie, today we came with a banger. I sent you a fresh. <laughs> no, it's fresh in the sense that it's 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 new, it's brand new in our system because you don't always find side chicks chewing their sugar daddies because we we, we thought <laughs> we thought that those side chick and those things are supposed to be low key but nah Deborah decided to go high key Deborah decided to go all in because she felt like the sugar daddy hasn't been good to her now who is Deborah? Deborah Sarah Mandabla now Deborah is making waves because we're going in the sugar daddy say oh man promises say oh baby see man oh baby see man and so papa no is not coming through yes after that's what she's saying allegedly she is saying that so the man wanted to have an unnatural kind of knowledge with her something like some form of a sexual um interaction that wasn't natural it could be you know they far you move with them call they make you uh yes but that is what caused their drift uh my relationship nina eddy a basa and see when now come man see see why i'm not doing say no all the promises that she gave to the girl which included say they rented two bedroom apartment for her for three years advance you know man who was only only able to pay one and also also cast over to come and cannot toy but for the didn't need to register for the register card yeah the man taking me register the car so after the girl in the girl then get issues more then the guy the man find way to take the car from the girl way the girl say nah i know they be up we aside that too she promised the girl that every month she will give her some amount of money but i want to chairman is not coming through yes and a whole lot of things apparently the girl was even on the, the man wanted her to do a family planning because she doesn't want to have protected sex with her and at the same time she didn't want to have babies so the girl had to go to the hospital for her family planning and according to this girl she is suffering the effect of the family planning and this man let her do so all these things are causing her stress so if the man has decided to drift away from her she feels that the best thing to do as a good citizen as as a law abiding citizen is to take this man to court to demand whatever she feels she deserves now this issue has created a lot of division among the Ghanaians some people are saying that oh it's 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 understandable because at least the girl is in a way you know, finding the right way the proper channel to address this issue though whatever she's doing is not good but if the man left the wife there to actually go in for a younger girl and he gave the girl promises the man should come through for the girl because one man get not so happy within the future around this man is he, is he the whole thing so if the girl is to take the man to court, it serves the man right. And they don't see, uh, one side, they don't see anything wrong with that, what the girl is doing. And the other side, obviously, are not happy with the whole issue because they feel like, how dare you to go to that stand of suing your sugar that even though when you know that's Nyawo and Awangas and one, question marks, baby, yeah, so it's, 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 it's personally i feel it's it's one of those things that i feel yes she has the right as a Ghanaian to do what she feels like it's the right thing to do lawfully to secure whatever she feels she deserves from that whatever they did in secret that's that's them but when it came to public we are here to dissect the issue and also learn one or two things from okay now this issue has brought a lot of issues out and this girl all of a sudden she has gained a lot of popularity and fame she's even had some people in the media space throwing their weights behind her because they feel like it's the first time that the psychic has had the courage to do something like this personally i don't, I don't think this is the right um If you ask me, I don't think it sets a good example for the young ones that are coming. I mean, um, personally, I feel she, she's a lady. She might also find herself in a position whereby she would have to marry and the husband has to mingle with another younger uh, woman and all those kind of things. And even this whole thing, I don't know how the man is receiving this in terms of her, his reputation because he's a big man. He's a head of a financial institution. So and i learned she's even a deacon at the church so i mean this whole thing coming up it's 
Charlie, it's 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 really a massive blow to him, and I wouldn't like to be in his shoes. But Charlie, we all have to pay for our deeds, and this is the worst way that any man would probably find himself in. But this is this is life. Since things happen now, Deborah is doing anything possible, including going to court, to make sure that whatever the man promised her is given to her. Because I I think she even said that in the house that she's currently in now she's about she's at the verge of being evicted because a man promised three years and i feel with your one pick and a whole lot of things and she can't bear all the stress Charlie. so that's what is happening in the issue of the side chick and the sugar daddy Charlie, what should i say maybe she can yeah yeah because you know these things we know it happens but then this time around it took a very unexpected twist and here we are we're talking about it so it's one of those things, but yeah, the guy with the everything issues the now when we move away from that, there is another news, a very disturbing issue that is making trends in the media. Apparently on the 28th of this month, January on Friday, uh, around OEB, they say there's a junction there called Bush Canteen. Now Bush Canteen, they sell this watch there. Now watch it, I want to be for watch it. Watch it be an apart. Oceana say be I'm our you go feed dog that tea and then cook with and go find watch it and chew. So watch it there if you do umwella, you see say squad they buy pan. So this watch it was one of the legendary watches in that hood. Yes, I'm a mini cry friend in yellow CC I will be at a watch it when it change. Yeah. Now unfortunately I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened during the preparation of the food nobody knows as of now because the fda and the police are still uh, taking all those those um, the fda and the police are taking the issue under investigation and then uh, we, we are yet to know what really happened but though we don't know the cause of this issue what we know is five souls have been lost and over 40 people were hospitalized at the valley view hospital and uh, it's 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 depressing and at the same time kind of scary because uh, we, sometimes you all buy food outside and you don't know what goes into the preparation. I mean, I mean, imagine waking up, you are in your room, you think you are safe and everything, and you are just going to find food to eat, and then all of a sudden you go and meet this kind of uh, unfortunate situation. It's it's some way. Yeah, so these people, these five people that have lost their lives, I mean, it's sad. I mean, my condolence to their family and Charlie, let's let's just be careful about the things that we eat outside actually you, you you can never be too careful because these things i don't know maybe every day the person eats the food then every day the person patronizes this woman's food how will you know that today will be the bad day that maybe something will happen because allegedly even the woman that sells the food and the family are also part of the people that were poisoned so we don't know what really caused it and nobody can tell unless maybe the police and the fda are done with the investigation that we can come and then finalize the issue and see that okay this thing cost or that thing cost it but what we can do right now is to be careful about the food we take and the places that especially we buy our food at because um Charlie, you have only one life and sometimes you have to protect it the best way that you can so that's it for the trend for today. The name remains Chris Donald, and I'll come your way with more trends on my next episode. See you. Take care.